Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing and review. Today it's another Star Wars figure with Cosco Reeves from The Mandalorian. So first, as usual, let's talk about the box. As usual with Star Wars figures, you get the same collectibles box. It's a black box with a promotional picture of a figure there and the Star Wars logo. For the Mandalorian figures, you have an orange brownish colored strip with another promotional picture of a figure there and another one there. When you remove the first part of the box, you get this nice picture and then the figure. So let's open this and talk about the accessories. In terms of accessories, you get exactly what's needed for this figure and there's even a backdrop. The display base is the same one as Bokatan. It's a nice grid base. Except this one doesn't come with the guard rail. As for the stand, it's a dynamic one, so be careful with that. I'll drop a link to my video on how to avoid damaging your figures with dynamic stands in the description down below. Then she has seven hands. Two fist hands. Two open hands. Two hands to all the weapons. And one gesture hand. As for the weapons, she comes with the classic Mandalorian West R35 blaster pistol. It's nicely painted with different shades of grey. Then she also has the E-22 reciprocating double-barreled blaster that she took from the Imperials in Chapter 11 of the Mandalorian. It's a rifle that was first used by the Imperial Shore Troopers. It's a big weapon. Plus she has the usual Mandalorian accessories. There is a flamethrower effect and a grappling hook. Both can be inserted in the wrist armor. The two thrusters effects can be attached to the jetpack, though when removing them, be careful. The jetpack itself is not detachable, just like for Bokatan. Finally, there is the backdrop. It represents the exterior of an Imperial Gazanti class cruiser. If you want, you can recreate the scene where the Mandalorians attack the cruiser. Axwolves and Bokatan both come with a similar backdrop. Obviously, nothing can top the background we got with Luke from the Mandalorian. But this is still a cool background. So now, let's take a look at the figure. Since Cosco Reeves is a night hold too, the figure uses the same mold as Bokatan with slight changes. I love the weathering and the battle damage scratches all over the armor. It really brings out the warrior vibe. Despite all the weathering, the blue of the armor still shines. Hot Toys has definitely done a fine work with this figure. The boots are two separate pieces, which means you have feet articulation. However, it uses pleather for the upper part, which, as you know, pleather can be problematic. So I have to say, don't try to pose the feet in a way that would damage the pleather of the time. The belt and holster also use pleather. Koska has only one blaster pistol, so she has only one holster. The blaster can easily be removed or put inside the holster. The undersuit is made of fabric, so you can go all in with the poses. Though I need to say that like Bokatan and the Almora, Koska has limited elbow articulation, since the joint is a single one instead of a double. 
This limit the poses for the arms, nevertheless I think you can still get great poses with this figure. As usual with helmets that have an antenna, the antenna can move like this. I think it's a shame they didn't sculpt the interior of the helmet like they did for Boba Fett, that would have been so cool. In terms of articulation, the helmet can look down, look up, and look on its side. Then you can move the arms like this, like this, then like this, but like I said, you're limited with the elbow, you can move the hands, then you can move the legs, like this, like this, like this, and you can also move the feet. The head sculpt was made by Jiang Dane and painted by JC Hong. This is another incredible head sculpt. From every angle, it looks just like Mercedes Varnado. They perfectly captured the likeness of the actress. On top of that, they gave her a serious expression, which works for the character. The hair sculpt is really impressive with the braids on top of her head and on her forehead. With all these new figures that are announced with separate rolling eyeballs, I wish Koska Reeves had that. Other than that, the head sculpt is everything you could have hoped for. In terms of articulation, the head and the neck are two separate pieces, which would normally give it a wider articulation range, though the bread at the back does limit the articulation. So she can look down, but she can't look up, though she can look on each side. So now let's see some poses. Oscar Reeves is an amazing figure with a spot on head sculpt. It's a worthy addition to your Mandalorian collection. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!